Hi. Great. So in this lesson, um, we will go through horizontal motion, but this time an object will be traveling through three points. And often in these questions, you have situations where you need to use two simultaneous equations um, and use them defined, your values. <coughs> right. Now, um, most of the issues which or most of the mistakes people make here is um, they do not model the motion correctly. Okay, So let's say a car passes through A, B, and C. So we have A, B, and C. Okay. Now what most people do is they will model the motion from A, B and get a formula from one of your equations. Okay. Then they will make a model for BC and then get another formula and solve simultaneously. The issue with that is when you look at, let's say you look at the motion from A to B. Okay, This will be your U starting speed and this will be your V. Okay. Now, when you look at BC, yeah, you can't label this U again. Okay because you've already labeled u, which was the speed at a. So we, ca we can't label this as u. Okay? We will have to use a different letter, maybe e, f, g, or so on. And that creates an issue because we have too many letters. So in this scenario, the best thing to do is you consider the motion from a, b, and a, c. What this allows you to do is you make a model for AB. You can label the speed here as U. Okay, so that will stay as U. Then you can make another model for AC, which is from A to C. Okay, the speed here was U. That means this is also U again. So we can use the same letter for both the models. And this makes the question a lot more easier to answer because we have less letters to solve for. Now I'll show you quick example here okay so it's a question on the board so just pause the video read it and then you can resume it okay so there's three posts We've got a b and c So a car is passing through uh, the three of these posts. Okay, now the distance between A, B is 60 meters, okay, and the distance between B, C is 150 meters. And any other information they've given you? They've given you the time. Okay, so the car passes B three seconds after passing A. So T will be 3 here, and for the period from B to C, T will be 5. Right now, I'm going to model um, two situations here. So one will be A, B. Okay. Now, we will say the speed here is U at A. Okay. Now, if you look at A, B, starting at A, going to B, from here to here. So we have S is equal to 60, T is equal to 3, and U is equal to U. We can keep that. The second motion, which I'm going to model, will be AC. Okay, so AC goes from A all the way to C, right? Now, what that means is your starting speed was U here, so that stays as U. Okay, so this is a good thing because we've kept the same letter, right? The total distance, now we had 60 from A to B and 150 from B to C. So the total distance would be 210 because you will add those together, okay? 
and the time will be now 3 seconds from A to B and 5 seconds from B to C. So that gives you a total of 8 seconds. Okay, now the reason we've created two models or looked at two situations is because we can't solve using a single one. Okay, so if you look at the first situation, we have S, T, and U. Right now, the issue with the formulas is you need to have at least three values and then you can find a missing fourth one. Right, we only have two values we have S and we have T, we don't have the other ones, right? So we don't have A, V. So that's why we can't use the formulas with just one of these. Right Now, let's try, let's see which formula fits all three of S, T and U. Okay, so S, T and U would be this formula here. Okay, I'm going to substitute that into the first model. So that will give me, um, so S is 60. So 60 equals U, T which means 3u plus half a and t square. Okay. Now, if you simplify this, this will become 3u plus 4.5a equals 60. Okay. So this is our first formula. Right? Now, for the second model AC, we have U, S, and T, so we will use the same formula again, S equals U, T plus half A, T square. So that will give us S equals U, T plus half A, T square. And if you simplify this, you will get Right, so we've got two formulas. We've got one formula here, which was from AB, and this formula is from AC. Okay, if you solve both of these uh, simultaneously, then you can um, find your values of U and A. Okay. Right, I'm not going to solve the simultaneous equations because you know how to do it from GCSE. Um, I'll just tell you the answers. So that should be U equals 16.25 and A equals 2.5. Right now, let's look at the next question. Again, pause the video and then read it and then resume it. Right. So there's a car passing through different lampposts. Right. So let's say we the lamp posts are let's label them a b c okay. so from a to b it takes 1.2 seconds okay and the distance is 30 b to c again distance is 30 and it takes 1 second okay now we don't know what u or a is so that's slightly tricky because <coughs> we will have to use two equations again. Okay? So let's look at AB. Now, from A to B, the speed here is U, which we don't know. So we will have to keep it as U. Okay? Now, the formula we will use is um, S equals UT plus half AT square. Okay? So...
right? And then for AC, we will use the same formula, UT plus half AT square. Again, remember A to C means you're combining the whole motion from start to end, okay? And the reason we do that is so that we have the same U we can use again. Because if you do B to C, then the speed here would be something else. You can't label that U again. Okay? So for AC, the total distance would be 30 plus 30, which is 60. Okay. So we say 60 equals, okay. Your time will be 1.2 plus 1. So that gives you 2.2. .2. My bad, that should be U. Okay, sorry, that should have been U. Um, so coming back here, and then okay, you substitute the other one, 2.2 .2 square. Once you've done that, uh, open the brackets and simplify. Right, so once you've simplified it, you have two equations. Okay, so one is this one, the other is this one. You have to solve them simultaneously, which you can do because you know how to do it. I will just tell you the answer. Right, so once you've solved it simultaneously, your answer your answers should be A equals five four point five four and U equals twenty two point two. Okay. Now so that's part one. Let's look at part two. Um, it says assuming the same acceleration, which is we got as four point five four find the time the car took to travel the 30 minutes before the lamppost. Okay. So what they're saying is uh, before the first lamppost. Right? That means the lamppost before A. Okay. So this is your A. Okay. Now we got the speed as 22.2. Okay. Now this is U which means that was the speed at A. So we can label that 22.2. Okay. Now the catch here is you're starting from this point and going to A. So this becomes your final speed. right? Because in this model, we're not starting at A, we're finishing at A. Okay. So your V will be 22.2. Um, S will be 30 because they've told you um, all of them are 30 meters apart. Okay. And we need to find the time. So we need to find time. Right. Um, and they told you that the acceleration is the same. Right. So your acceleration will be 4.54. Uh, which is the same as what we had in part one. Okay, now we need to find a formula which links all four of these S, U, sorry, S, A, T, and V. Okay, so that formula is S, Right, then we substitute uh, into the formula. Um, and then you solve this uh, to find your t. So if you just rearrange it, it should become 2.27 2 t square minus 22.2 .2 t 
uh, plus 30 equal to zero. And using uh, quadratic, then you uh, try, try to solve it. Uh, 